Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the transactions from American Express into your QuickBooks Online file. So let's get started. Now, I know you can sync American Express with QuickBooks, but um, I've had issues in the past where QuickBooks disconnects the sync and then you have to start over, or it doesn't really bring in the memo details. Um, what I do like about it, if the sync does work, is that you can actually see your receipts in QuickBooks Online. But for the most part, I really do not sync my American Express uh, to QuickBooks. I just um, download the transactions, and that's what I'm going to show you today, how to do that and then upload them into QuickBooks Online. It's fairly easy. So let me show you. You go into your Statements and Activities, and you can download the statements. Of course, I download it so I can reconcile um, my American Express on a monthly basis. But to download the transactions, I usually do it from, I do it for a whole month. Or you could do it when the month ends on your statement. Sometimes it ends in the middle of the month, but I don't like that. I like to have a full month of transactions and then reconcile per the bank statement. So um, I'm doing November's right now. So I go to custom date. So if you click on custom date, then you can select the date range you want. Once it gives you the transaction, see I have a total of 90 um, transactions that I can download from November 1st to November 30th. So what I do is I click on here where it says download transactions on this arrow pointing down and it gives me the option to download CSV, Excel, QuickBooks, Quicken. So of course I want to download QuickBooks. So I download QuickBooks and that gives me a QBO file. Let's see if I can move my share screen so you could see it. It looks like this in the, um, on my download. It's a QBO file. So once it's downloaded, I can go into, let's see, I can go into my QuickBooks and then at the top um, right corner under banking, I click upload from file. I browse to select that file. It's right here. And I hit next. And then um, of course I select the credit card um, that it goes to and then I hit next and that's how I download uh, my transactions. So um, that's what I wanted to share with you and then I can go back and um, categorize my bank feeds. I hope that you find this helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe for more how-tos, tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.